Click like on the Spaz Memo 3579 page on Facebook for product updates, new videos, pictures, and monthly giveaways. It's all at facebook.com slash spazman13579. Hey guys, it's spazman13579 here with a for sale video for May of 2012. I have a crap load of things I'm getting rid of, so we can start off immediately here. First off, we have this CNO uh, Branch Line Trains 50 foot plug door box car kit. As you can obviously tell, it is fully weathered. Came out quite good. It's a very heavy weathering, but it's not like it's bad or anything. It's very detailed and very nice. Uh, like some of the details on it are some of these panels are painted brighter silver or weathered less. Kind of to show that they're like replaced panels and then that one's worse. Things like that. It has uh, see-through and walkways like, as you can see right there. This is a very, very cool car. And I'm going to be selling it shipped to you for $16. By the way guys, I do um, accept PayPal. So you can uh, personal message me on YouTube. Or you can email me at the email you see right here below, tomposhell at gmail.com. And uh, I'll give you my PayPal information. I knew before that I only accepted checks, like actual physical checks you send in the mail. And people didn't really like that. So I finally figured out how to make PayPal. And I did that. So yeah. I said 16 I think. Yeah, $16 shipped to you. You can still pay me via check, um, or money order, or cash, or whatever, but I also accept PayPal now. So yeah, that's with that. I don't think I'm really going to do any, like, cuts in the video this time, just because I have so much crap. Well, not crap, but stuff. Uh, here's an ATSF Craftsman kit. It was by, like, Railmasters or something. Not sure if you can tell, but it is weathered very slightly. The uh, trucks and couplers are also weathered. KD Whisker. All these, by the way, do have KD Whisker couplers, unless um, otherwise noted. Metal wheels. Uh, See-through top part. It's kind of broken there, but you honestly can't really even notice it that much. But uh, this guy can be shipped to you for $12, I'd say. By the way, if you do buy a large order, I guess you can say like three or more cars in one order, I can bring the price down like a little bit. Uh, next here we have a old Athena Blue Box kit, D&M covered hopper. This is like the standard covered hopper from Athern back in the day. Very lightly weathered, it came out excellent in my opinion. I just don't really have a use for it. Uh, the trucks are rather not the wheels, but the trucks are. Same with the couplers there. Top's weather. So is the bottom. And um, here's the other side. That can be shipped again for 12 bucks. Uh, next here is a SPSF caboose by the same company that made that ATSF. That would be like Railmaster or something like that. I still can't remember the name. I installed window glazing in there as you might be able to see from that glare. That's all around and it came out really cool. The reason I'm selling this is because uh, since the SPSF merger didn't really go into effect, like uh, SP or SPSF paint was extremely rare in this time period. So I wouldn't really have that big of a use for it. Anyways, Intermountain Metal Wheels, KD Couplers, Brass Ladder, uh, Brass Stanchions around here. I did some detail painting and painted all these white. Came out pretty cool. It's a smokestack. So yeah, that can be shipped to you. Oh, and by the way, it's all metal on the bottom and everything. And it has piping detail and air reservoir detail. That can be shipped for uh, $12 again. And remember again, the prices can go down if you buy a large amount of things. Next up is an old Atherin Blue Box kit, LNN 40 foot bulkhead flat car. 
This was weathered a very long time ago by me. Here's a close-up shot. It came out quite good actually. It's very heavy, but again, like the C No car, it came out really, really good. It has lead weights in the bottom to you know, weigh it down a lot, get a lower center of gravity. And it's a very, very good runner. Metal wheels, KD whisker couplers again, all that is weathered. And I can send that for twelve dollars. Or well no fifteen because it has some nicer stuff on it. So fifteen bucks for that guy. Ah, the cars is rolling. Uh here we have a cotton belt hydro cushion sixty foot beer car or beer box car with a uh, plug door. It's very lightly weathered if you can tell. I would have kept this but the reason I didn't is because uh, beer cars were like specialty made and they didn't run them as single units most of the time. They ran them as like unit trains. This is a single unit and I don't have any more. Oh um, by the way this is an um, Eel River kit. They're very very nice kits. They have bunch of piping detail on the bottom and stuff so yeah it came out pretty good and that can be shipped for 12 bucks I guess yeah since it's very lightly weathered uh, what's up next here we go this is an NYC 50 foot double door boxcar by Atherm Blue Box so I can get the trucks here you can see that they have the uh, KD uh, trucks with like the actual springs in them. It works surprisingly well because most of the cars like this don't run that well, but this one actually works quite good, surprisingly. I said that already. Um, KD, they're not whisker, but they're just standard number fives. They work perfectly fine. It's uh, lightly weathered. I didn't do this when I bought it off a guy, but I, never, I just like never really cared for NYC paint or anything and then I had to weather it or something to get it to my era and it's like I just don't really care for it that much so why take the time to weather it uh, 12 bucks chip for this guy as well what is next hmm. uh, I guess I'll do this this is an, a New York Central Baldwin S12 switcher and at first when I bought this I thought it was custom painted but it's actually not it is factory painted but if you can tell it was lightly weathered with an airbrush sorry for that background noise my computer is freaking out it has um extra details added as you can see in there there's a little guy it's pretty cool all the handrails are painted separately uh, it has nice couplers not whisker again, but they are nice. A standard Wabco E2 horn. And yeah, it's weathered. Came out really good. Not for me again, but the guy that did it did a very nice job. And last thing, this is an unpowered unit. But it can be very easily converted to a powered unit. It has the uh, truck assembly in there and the gearing and everything. So if you pop a motor in it, and get metal wheels that conduct electricity unlike these it should be an extremely good runner it is now too that's unpowered but yeah so um that can probably be shipped out for twenty dollars i'd say maybe i'll go lower not sure next up we have a bunch of these some of you guys might remember these things from before I was going to have a huge unit train of them, um, but that kind of fell through when I realized that on a new Conroe line, the minimum radius is 22 inches, and on 22 inches, we have two problems. First of all, they look stupid. Second of all, they um, hit the other cars on the opposite track since it's double main line. It's like when they're turning, the middle part hits the other cars. So they're not very practical, and I don't want to go through and change all my curves just because of cars like this. So yeah, um, as you can see, they're lightly weathered with like uh, tire tread and stuff on them. 
the KD couplers, as you can see right there. I modified these so that they can work on tighter radiuses. They don't look very good, but they run fine. You can see that the um, entire coupler box moves right there. And it has Accurail trucks and wheel sets, which are metal. And these guys, uh, the ones that I modified, there are different colors like this, by the way. I have two of these TTX browns, one PF&E uh, Fruit Express, one that's bright orange, and then one Great Northern. These guys can be sent out for 12 bucks each. If you buy all four of these colored ones, I'll give you a deal and go for 35 then if you buy all four of these colored ones. Otherwise, those are 12 bucks a piece. Uh, these ones, since they're not really painted in anything, can be uh, 10 bucks a piece. And if you buy both of them, they can be 18. If you buy everything together, like all of these 89 foot flat cars, I can do $45. So, yeah, really nice cars. And 45 bucks for a lot, or 12 for a colored one, and 10 per not colored one. Here's a whoa, hey, whoa, the yeah, white balance on this just went crazy, it made it all yellow. Anyways, um, here is a SP somewhat modern uh, Husky Stack car. These are pretty basic, everyone knows about them. This is the later Athlon Blue Box run. It has nice detailing. Not anything like really special, but it's not bad. These are too modern for me, and I just don't really have a use for them. You might remember the other one in that video, the Lawson car, I have it right there. But anyways, yeah, it's a nice car, by the way. I'll put KD couplers on it and the other truck. I just took it off while I was um, separating the two cars. But anyway, yeah. That can be sent out for a mere $10 probably because it's so like light, shipping won't cost that much. So yeah, 10 bucks for this guy. Uh, what is next? Okay. Here's a big thing, I have to get all these situated now. But you guys might remember these from an earlier video. They are the uh, trailer train, or whatever the heck you want to call them. Like the uh, triple crown train, I guess you could say. But anyway, they're little things that go on these trucks that I custom made. And they like just go on there. And then they go around the layout, like the prototypical ones do. Go to this link right here if you want to see the video of them running. These things run absolutely amazing. I mean, I thought they were going to run bad, but they actually run extremely, extremely well. And uh, I custom made all of them. They have these pieces of metal on the ends. And it's pretty simple. You have your truck here. These are all modern trucks, by the way. So they will work on a modern layout. They go in the peg, and then they run like the real ones do. I will say they're not the most prototypical thing ever, but they do get the job done, and they look quite good doing it. And I seriously, unless something was behind it that was very heavy, like you have to run these as a unit train, or behind another train, because on Yang Car, if you have something too heavy, it's going to derail them, since they're still light. But otherwise, I've never had derailment with these, even on extreme, like extremely bad track work. So yeah, these work very well. And by the way, they include all of these trucks that I made. And there's two quote unquote specialty trucks. One has an end of train device. As it goes along the rail, it picks up voltage and it flashes. It's like super, super cool. It'll go on the last car, as you can see right there. And it flashes. Really, really cool. And then there's one that has a coupler on it. It's just a KD Whisker coupler box. Pops right off. Very simple. They're all in NMRA gauge, by the way. So they'll run perfectly fine on any layout, or should at least. The entire set of all these trucks and everything can go for $35. I mean, just the trucks alone. These are all 
Intermountain metal wheels and everything. Just those can go for $35, but yeah, they're all custom made, one of a kind. And if you want, you could probably add more of these and more trucks. They're really easy to make. They, I mean, like an eight year old could do it. It's so easy. But anyway, yeah, 35 bucks shipped for these guys. Alright, next up here, you guys might remember this from uh, the original for sale video, or from a couple months ago or something. This is the Cotton Belt 50 foot air slide covered hopper. I think it's air slide, I'm not sure. But, anyways, it's a covered hopper. And as you can probably tell, it is very, very nicely weathered. This is uh, based off a of prototype. I'm not sure if I have a picture of, it or of the actual prototype or not. But, anyways, it has the correct graffiti. Like, grin back of three is kind of weird. I don't like it. But, yeah, anyway, I know it's not really good looking graffiti, but it is prototypical. Has some going along there. Here's the opposite side. About the same kind of weathering job, different tags, so. The uh, top is still not done, neither are the ends or the bottom. By the way, this is an Acurial kit, as it shows there. But. Um, I'll be done with it pretty soon. I just haven't really had the time to do anything with this car. I've been doing other things. But yeah, if you want this car, it can be shipped to you for $25, which I think is like a really good deal for a car of this kind of quality. By the way, it does have Kato trucks with Kato wheels and the uh, spinning bearing caps, which is really cool. I like those features on Kato's. But um, yeah, so 25 bucks shipped for this guy. That white balance keeps freaking out. Oh my god. Anyway, here's the GTW from my GTW boxcar review. Um, you can see the doors are off, but the doors are inside there. They said to be glued back on. There's nothing broken, as I stated in my review. So, yeah. Um, P2K metal wheels, KD whisper couplers. All the detailing is there. It's all good and fine. Nothing is broken from that drop test or anything. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my god, it's going to be broken. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, so anyways, just because of the fact that I know somebody's going to whine and say, oh my god, it's broken. I can't pay full resale for this or something dumb like that. Uh, I can sell for 10 bucks shipped. But I hope nobody does that. So yeah. Well, anyways, that is that car. Here's a Banger Roostook 50 foot Berwick boxcar by Branchline Trains. You guys will probably remember this from the previous uh, for sale video as well. It never sold or anything. Very nice car. Nothing really wrong with it. It has uh, weathering on top with a faded down roof. And on the side it has black streaks. As you can see on that side as well. About the same thing. The trucks and wheels are very nicely weathered as well are the couplers which are whisker couplers as uh, air hoses and stuff on it like that and this can be sold for sixteen dollars here's an old blue box kit this is a uh, real box 50 foot Berwick box car again a Berwick just like the previous one it is patched for LUCX which is a true reporting mark 3023 as you can see on the ends it has that reporting mark as well. It takes forever to put those little decals in. I hate it so much. Uh, anyway, full roof weathering is very heavy but of um, very good quality. The trucks are really nicely weathered with KD whisker couplers and Proto 2000 wheels. There's the opposite side with that tag. I still hate that tag so much but again it's prototypical so I'm not going to really change anything on it. Um, a very nice car. I like the fading on that logo right there. I love that so much. But I'm going to sell it because I originally made it to sell it. So, since it never really sold anything, I'll lower the price to $20 shipped to you. Sorry for the background noise again. And this white balance is seriously never going to work correctly. But... Here is, I guess you could say, the original weather car by me. This is a Railgun 50-foot gondola for GONX. 
I'm I think it's by Bowser. I'm not too sure. But uh yeah, so as a gravel load on the inside, like gravel that wasn't fully swept up, I guess you could say. Very nicely weathered. I have not touched this car in like two years. Well, I've touched it, but I haven't done anything to it, is what I mean. Fully weathered trucks and couplers. The couplers are original KE number fives, but they're perfectly fine. And yeah, uh, just because there is an air reservoir missing down there, this can be sold for $18. Here's the final car for the sale. It is a Baron and Rustic 60 foot modern reefer for uh, BAR 11131. Lightly weathered, as per prototype pictures, it has these uh, bars down here that are all rusted through and stuff. A little bit of rusting on top, it's all faded down nicely. The ends are weathered. It has Intermountain Metal wheels and KD whisker couplers. Uh, more weathering on that side, again about the same thing. Since it's very light and everything, this car could be sold for 15 bucks. Here is a NCE ATLS4 decoder. This is meant specifically for the Atlas S4, or really any Atlas switcher. Um, one thing to note, well it obviously works and everything, but one thing to note is the LEDs are not there, but the model does come with LEDs, maybe not LEDs, but lights in it. So you could just solder them back onto here, but I had used the LEDs from something else, and or I took them off to use for something else, so yeah. It's a very easy installation, just mounts and like screws right on top, and you solder up some wires, and you're ready to go. If you have basic soldering skills, it works perfectly fine. This can be sold, uh, shipped to you, for 10 bucks. Here is an MRC SD45-2 sound decoder, or at least it's programmed um, per an SD45-2. It was taken out of a Genesis locomotive from a guy, and then I bought the decoder from him. I just didn't like the sound too much because I don't have an SD45-2. I was going to put it in a GP30-2, but the uh, sound was way different than what I wanted. It's not bad sound, it's just something different than what I wanted. Um, they also didn't really fit good. It has to fit in the larger locomotive, like a 40-2, 45-2, etc. Um, nothing wrong with it. This is the Demonic MRC sound decoder, if some of you, if some of you guys remember. Uh, there was a solder joint loose. We soldered it, works perfectly fine and everything. I would show a video of it working, but I really don't want to take the time to go reinstall it into something. So yeah, it also has a speaker, I'm not sure of the millimeters, I think it's like, I'd say 20 millimeter, but it has no baffle or anything. None of these speakers have baffles that come with them though. You can, you can uh, custom make one pretty easily, just put some styrene around it or whatever. And it plugs right into there, very easy, just plugs in, plugs out. So yeah, this can be shipped to you for $30. The final product for this sale, as far as I remember at least, maybe I'll find something else to, put, to uh, throw in here. This is an Arts Auto building that is scratch built. It's all entirely scratch built. It has window glazing along there with the window details. It has a corrugated door right here for like a roll up door. Uh, shade up there, shade up here. It's made of entirely balsa or basswood maybe, with these uh, pieces of basswood going up the sides like that. It gives a pretty cool effect. Um, more window glazing on there. It has a smokestack coming up. The top, just like a real building, is a stone kind of stuff. It's just ballast at head, but it is stone. And there's the inside. I used to have lighting in it, that's why that piece of tape is there, but now I do not. So yeah. This guy can be shipped to you for 10 bucks, and I think it's a pretty good deal for a scr oh, I can't talk to it, jeez. For a scratch built thing, that is a pretty good deal. So, um, yeah. That is the entire video, I think. Again, personal message me or email me at tomposhell at gmail.com. It'll be in the description. For, uh, PayPal information. And honestly, I don't know how to use PayPal that well yet, because I haven't made a transaction yet. 
So if somebody buys something small, or not necessarily uh, something small, but anything, if you could like teach me how to use PayPal, basically, it would or would be uh, greatly appreciated. So yeah, uh, there was something else I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I'll go get it right now. Hang on one second. At the Spaz and One Three Five Seven Nine Facebook page, we are uh, giving away this billboard. You may have seen it in a previous uh, video of some sort, I'm not sure what. But yeah, it's fully scratch built. It's a little guy on it. And all the cool stuff. That didn't make sense, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we're giving it away on there. Go to the link in the description below. Facebook.com slash spazman13579. Very easy to remember because it's the same thing as YouTube. So yeah, you have to go and um, like the picture, or like the page obviously, like the picture and then share it on your Facebook wall and you will be entered to win this thing. There's only like four people in it right now so it's kind of stupid. But hey, for a first thing, I guess it's not too bad. It'll be up to like 20 likes now I think. But anyway, yeah, go check that out. You could win this thing and there will be more giveaways. There's going to be one, maybe two, you never know, every month. They could even get up to like locomotives or decoders or anything like that. So, yeah, the more likes, the better the prize. So, thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.